Hello everyone, it's Terry Larkin. I'm happy to see you again today. We really appreciate having you as part of our lives and it's fun to know that people are enjoying our information and we're hoping to share some more today from our blog which was written about intuition. If you haven't read our blog yet, it is on www.thelightgap.com looking for the one that talks about intuition. And in that, I'm talking about how we access intuition, how we can make the most out of listening for, in a deep way, what that intuition is trying to tell us about important things in our lives. When we pay attention to that intuition, it can make such a difference in how our life goes. So I'm hoping you'll read that blog. You'll notice in it that we've t introduced you to and showed you a picture of Suzanne Gieselman. I am very, very humble as I mention her as being a person who has really made a huge difference in my life through her change, a change of belief that has been ongoing since I was a young girl. You know, I when I think about spirits and contacting spirits, when I first even began to think of anything like that, I was a young child. And I had no way of having any real understanding that people called mystics actually were communicating with people who've passed on into their next life. But as a child, I had some interesting beliefs, and so I'm going to share that story with you a little bit, because I can remember we lived in a subdivision where there were a lot of homes, and in a family of five, we were always hearing from other children, playing with other children, and having a great time outside. There was a house there that people said, oh, this one is haunted and you should go next to it, and it was always the dare, oh, who's going to go up and, and walk next to that house? Really, it was just an overgrown ho home where the grass and the trees and things were grown over the windows, and it was very often dark. We didn't see the people coming in and out very often, and it turned out that they were an elderly couple. And even though we wanted to, be the one to go up to the door. I can tell you very frequently I was not the one who was going up to that door, but I would. there would always be somebody who would say, okay, Terry, you can do it, you can do it, and I'd find my way up there. But again, thinking about ghosts, guides, angels, I had no frame of reference for any of that. It wasn't spoken about in my home. When I got a little bit older, began to hear about you know, gypsies, crystal balls, the Ouija board. Those were about my only connections with someone who, or gypsies who might be telling fortunes at a fair. And I, those, that was my only frame of reference. As I got a little older, I began wondering, as most all of us do, about when a person dies and what happens. But again, I still had no real understanding at all. After my near-death experience, I knew those spirits existed. Not only did they exist, but I had been in with them. And I had been able to process the fact that those amazing light colors that I was seeing were in fact, most likely, spirit and spirit form because we now have the understanding and realizing that we are all spirit beings and in that we're in incredible light. Now Suzanne Gieselman has made an incredible difference to me personally and to Marge personally just over the last three or four years since we published our book and while the belief was there, the foundation to really go beyond was in, put in place 
by this very special person. You'll see a picture on our blog of Suzanne Giesemann and Marge and I because we had the privilege of seeing her speak in Chicago recently. And we had an opportunity to be able to talk to her afterwards. We had gone to a workshop that she had given in Ann Arbor a while back, and it was very, very significant. She's an amazing, ed evidential media. And to hear her stories were ones that changed a belief into an absolute knowing that we get information back from spirit world and that we have angels and guides who are helping us all the time. One of my favorite books of Suzanne Giesemann's is called The Messages of Hope. When I read this book from cover to cover, if you do, you're going to find that if you had any doubts before, she is such a talented writer and she's telling things exactly as they happened you won't have any doubts any longer. It's an incredible story about her life and how she became a medium. She had no idea she had these skills until she was a retired Navy commander. What a change in her life. And I really recommend that you find her. She also read a, wrote another one called Wolf's Messages about a young man who died very young, who was hit by lightning. and she tells the story of working with the parents and uncovering incredible evidence to help them understand that their son was communicating with them. It's an incredible story. She also has two books that are channeled from her own guides. That she uses the word Sanaya, but they are a group of guides. Love beyond words are Sanaya's words. In other words, channeled from the spirit world. Incredible information about the world around us and how it exists. And I have 365 days of thought-provoking um, information that you can enjoy. She, her second one, In the Silence, is also the same kind of a, a thought-provoking daily information. And in, on her website, we've given her website on our blog, but it's also just SuzanneGieseman.com. And we highly recommend that you get to know her. She's an incredible person. And when you hear her, you'll have a better understanding so we wanted to send you to an expert an expert who can help you understand how we can connect in a very deep way during meditation to our own spirit guides and we're going to be talking about that a little bit more as we go on thanks we'll talk to you soon